All right, hey everyone, and welcome to another vlog. So, guys, um, as of recording this, uh, this one, it's it is March sixteenth, which is the one year anniversary of um, my, uh, I believe, I think it's the one year anniversary of of um, uh, the the lock, the whole lockdown from the because of the whole because of coronavirus and stuff. So, yeah. Like I, I still can't believe it's been it's been like a year since the since uh, since COVID happened and stuff. We're still pretty much like in the almost like in the same position we were since last year. But it it is coming up on the up and up. Um, uh, it looks like a lot of people are getting vaccinated now. I don't know the exact number, but like around about a hundred million people got vaccinated already. Um, I'm I'm red. I'm uh, on the list to get uh, vaccinated, but like I haven't had my appointment yet. So, yeah, my uh, but my dad had to get vaccinated because he works at the hospital, so he had to he had to take it mandatorily, man, man, uh, mandatory. And uh, from what I heard and and saw from him, it looks like it's gonna be painful <laughs> and stuff. Because uh, like he 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 took it both times, uh, the Moderna one, and like he was just completely out of it, like the whole day after he had he had his shots so there's something to look forward to but yeah guys um I, it's like i can't i still can't wrap my head around that it's been a year since the since the pandemic started because like i remember march 15th of last year was when i came home from uh from my maintenance shop for the last time and then uh, like shortly after they said they said guys were closing down work and uh, probably won't come back for like the next like I remember what I remember they told me it was gonna be like probably two like two or three weeks because they did because they didn't know at the time that like it the uh, it would last for so long with the, the lockdown and so yeah I left my previous job for the last time on March 15th then March 16th it was like considered day one of um, the lockdown so yeah I I still can't believe it. Yeah, and the reason, another reason why it felt like it's gone by so, so like super quick is that um, during those that period of seven long months, uh, from when I left my previous job to when I got my new job as as security in November fifth, I think that's when I started. Like, it's I well, I was pretty much like in purgatory, like stuck doing the same thing every single day, like wake up, breakfast, babysit my brother go to sleep like doing that like like seven seven days a week for for like those seven months like it it just took a lot out of me like and like it's it just the whole that whole like stretch of time it just went by like super quick like i, I can't believe it yeah and another thing i got i got lucky um uh financial wise because uh uh when i had to leave my previous job. I didn't. Te I technically I didn't get fired, but like I I couldn't I couldn't make the call. I couldn't um, make the callbacks or whatever. So I technically I I didn't leave and I wasn't fired. I just couldn't I couldn't come back because like because of um, the situation at home. I I had to stay here while my parents worked. My brother had his um his online courses for school. So I I couldn't I couldn't come back to work. Um, for that reason, so like I had to stay here and watch my little brother. So, luckily, I had saved up um, before the pandemic started. I had saved up at least like four, like four, like four grand in my savings. I don't mind sharing this information, but like I had that much money saved up, and I had, I had a uh, student loan uh, debt I had to pay off, and I had credit card bills, and I had food and gas obviously so like i was buying like pretty much the bare minimum for like those seven long months like like not spending too much on food or like not going using my car to go out so i don't have to, I don't have to buy gas all that much um like during the during that span of like seven months i only drove my car like like i only took it out like three or four times but like that's pretty much it i haven't i i didn't drive like for like most of 2020 and um uh yeah i only to like to make sure my car like would still work like every now and then i would start it for like half an hour and stuff and then like i then i'd shut it off 
but like yeah like i remember uh by the end of uh my little stint in purgatory um i think it was like october when i when i i, I finally i finally um interviewed and got the got my new security job um i was all the way down to like a hundred dollars left in my in my savings account when i finally got my new job and like that like was cutting it like super close because like i knew that like when i was like running really low on money like i gotta like i really gotta like step it up now like i gotta make a few more comprom i gotta make a few compromises gotta find a new job because uh, like i'm because i got bills and i have like other expenses i got i had to take care of so i had to find a job immediately so like luckily i like i i got my new job like right when i needed to Please? oh and somebody here wants to say hi Papa. hey buddy baba baba oh that means he wants milk so <laughs> hey buddy baba hey buddy hey j bye Spider-Man. Wow. Yes. Wow. Spider-Man. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Don't touch my stuff! <laughs> yeah, guys, so that's it for this one. Uh, I just wanted to, like, get... And so, yeah, guys, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. So, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.